Most of us got heavily dosed. They, you know, I had 10,000 parts per billion in my home in some places. For Christina say, life after the Flint water crisis has been anything but easy. She says the symptoms of being poisoned by lead tainted water still haunts her today. Shaking, um, tremors, sweating, extreme fatigue, weight loss, pain all over my entire body. Say says her entire family, including her children and even family pets, got sick from drinking tap water. How many babies and how many, you know, sisters and brothers and grandmas and grandpas do we have to bury before somebody's actually going to care? Say is now doing chelation therapy. She says she's trying to get rid of the toxic metals left behind in her body, which isn't cheap. She says it will cost over $20,000 after she finishes her treatment, adding that her children might need it at some point too. So when it comes to the $600 million that's being awarded to Flint residents from the state, here's what she thinks. So kind of a, a little bit of a slap in the face that, you know, this money is supposed to go between 28,000 people. Now, it's still unclear how much each person in Flint will get based on the settlement. And it'll be another 45 days until that's all figured out. But one thing is certain, and that's that Say's life after the crisis will never be the same. Lost our ability to work and um, we used to be able to, we were active family. We ran and played with our kids and now you know, I had to kind of switch how I interact with my children is like now I sit on the couch and read a book or, you know, we do something that's less active. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.